Okay. Customization. Who wants that on his face? <laughs> Holy. Oh, so obviously there's... There's a lot you can do with this. Um, I'll pick this as a starting point. Oh man. There's too much. <laughs> Tattoos are badass. Right? Or are they stupid? I don't know. Skin tone. Ooh, give him scurvy. There we go, scurvy. That's a little too pale. That looks at least not unhealthy. That does not look good. Um, that doesn't look too bad. Ooh, what's up with the cheek? Is he scarred? Is it supposed to be hair? Let's find out. Back hair. Ooh, whoa. Interesting. Where's my beard? <laughs> I don't think he needs a beard. What's up with this hairstyle? It's the same one I... S well, pretty close to the one in Two Worlds 2. These little braids on the side, it's kind of... I guess it's fantasy. Ooh, this one's got a braid. One nice... It's like a front rat tail. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. A little tucked away antenna. Ooh, corn rolls. White corn rolls. That's kind of roguish. It's a bit, uh, bit dull. Helmet hair. Short helmet hair. Monk hair. Uh, yeah, this color is just off. hell color is that? Looks like a orange soft drink, an orange slurpee. Jeez. Might have to go with brown. But let's keep changing because he looks really retarded right now. Oh, here we go. Some anime hair. Yeah. Anime hair. This one is a little better. <laughs> Look at this. Oh boy. He's got a comb over and everything. I almost want to make him look like that. This, this uh, look, it fits the, the, the fantasy setting. Is that the Legolas? Legolas? However you want to pronounce that. I think I've seen girls with this haircut. Yeah, no. That's really poofy. How much product does he use? Is that a hole in his head? Right here? Oh. Just looks funny. Okay, well, oh, don't do that. I'll do this. Um, oddly, I kind of like this one. It's not bad. He looks kind of, eh, looks kind of tough. What, you can change?
Might as well make it match. Stubble. <laughs> okay, he can have stubble, but what's stubble to have? What? You can't go with no stubble? It's kind of... I wonder why you can't do the wolverine. Just the mutton chops. Eh, I can do that. That's roguish. Not the best, um... Maintenance, but I guess it's hard. Well, he's a rogue. He should have sharp blades. How's that? The goatee, the short T. The short goatee. That's too too little now. If we do that and make it lighter. Portrait. <laughs> Who cares? Portrait. <laughs> That's funny. Look down. Look down. Yeah. Too tough. Makes him look taller. There we go. Name. What? Oh, that would have been fun, but I have the PS3 version. So the martyr, Ferelden will forever remember the young Dalish elf who died to kill the fifth archdemon. Even though she had reason to be cynical, her actions always benefited others. She left a kingdom ruled jointly by Alistair and Anora. Ew, by Alistair? What a dweeb. A young man from a noble family rose to become a Grey Warden, then ended the fifth blight by killing the Archdemon himself and surviving. He always strove for the greater good and placed his friend Alistair on the throne of Ferelden. Alistair again. A ruthless dwarf and noble took command of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, then let nothing stand between him and victory. He exiled Alistair, sent Loghain to his death against the Archdemon, and left Anora as Ferelden's ruler. I don't know those characters, unfortunately. I guess I should have played a little more of the origins, but I didn't find it that great. But, um... Well, the default one. Why not? Let's do it. Start game.